you doing, Otis? You're a good boy. So, portable affordable observatory. Let's have a look. Got the zipper door open. Come on in. Got things pretty much set up. Uh, I don't have my laptop yet for my table. And if you see my other videos, I've had a heater out here. It's not too uh, not too bad this evening in Minnesota. Not sure exactly what the temperature is. For a lot of you, it may be kind of cold, but uh, it's probably about 58 is my guess, which is fairly nice. Uh, it is going to cool off, so I definitely will be uh, zippering it up the door. And I uh, don't have my laptop out here yet, but I got things kind of ready to rock and roll. I've got my ZWO camera here, and I got a flip mirror, and I've said this in the past. Uh, the rookie that I am, um, this was a true game changer for me um the problem was i'd take the eyepiece out put the camera in and all the putts in and bumping and everything else uh, i would move things and i could no longer see my target so i got word to have a flip mirror and uh maybe hopefully this evening i can uh, show you a demonstration on that but yeah that really was a game changer for me So yeah, it is the uh, Celestron 8SE telescope, and uh, I've got a power cord here that goes back to the house, and uh, I've got a nice table here, and the portable affordable observatory works fantastic. I got the roof a little bit further back right now, uh, that's so I have room to polar align it, and once I get it polar aligned, I'll put it back over on this. Uh, PVC pipe right here. And if it gets really cold, what I do is I take the front tarp here and I bring it up here and uh, what I'm not viewing and uh, attach it to this PVC pipe just to close it up, um, get the heater going, get, get some heat in here. And then when you want to um, view again, you just uh, put the front tarp down and strap it down on the side and good to go. There's plenty of room in here, it's eight feet long. You'd easily have a couple of people in here um, looking at the telescope with chairs, maybe three. You need a little room here to pull our line and swing stuff around, but once you get rolling, uh, yeah, it's uh, plenty of room. So, going to be going after the Dumbbell Nebula tonight. So, it's always been kind of elusive for me. We'll see if I can actually uh, get it in the telescope. I am a rookie at this, so... But I am going to really, really pay attention to the polar aligning. Um, the last, oh, I'm going to say eight, ten times, I've just uh, been nailing it. Just get it really level and take your time and polar align the best that you can. And it uh, really pays off. And maybe I'll show you uh, later on how I do that. Um, but anyway, we're good to go. Just need some uh, dark skies and start polar aligning. Get my laptop out here. Thanks for viewing. One more thing I wanted to mention. As you can see, I have a string here. That's my tether. I had to come up with something. One time, I had this whole mechanism slide out. And look what it landed on. I can't believe my camera survived. Uh, there is a dent in it. And I'm just going to leave it because it works. If I mess with it, I might screw something up. But... Uh, Holy cow. Uh, yes, uh, this part right here slid out. Uh, that's where the eyepiece normally goes in. It should have a ridge there, so when you turn these screws down, uh, there's no way that it can slide out, but uh, it doesn't have that. So if anybody has any suggestions there, let me know. But this is just a precautionary procedure here. Uh, if it falls out, at least it won't hit the concrete. So. Let me show you one other toy that I uh, got. I think it was like 130 bucks, which is way too much. But um, here's where I polar line. I look through the eyepiece here. And um, those of you that are familiar with the polar lining, there's a little map on the inside. And you light, there's uh, the Big Dipper, Cassiopeia, and a circle. And you just uh, take uh, Polaris and line it up in that circle and take your time and do the best you can. And it will, will pay off big time. But <laughs> without this new piece here, you're, you're on the ground with, on your knees and it's just uncomfortable trying to look through here. So this is a 90 degree here. So now I can look at things uh, 
um, this way in Polar Line. Kind of pricey, but um, it's uh, I've tried it now a couple of times and it, it does work pretty slick. So, all for now.